Future Toyota electric vehicles will wirelessly recharge each other on the move and this could cure those range anxiety worries. Toyota could be planning some game-changing electric vehicle technology. A Toyota patent hits at a development that could eliminate the worst part of electric vehicle ownership. Toyota builder of some of uh, uh, trucks and SUVs that are most popular in the world is often considered a laggard when it it comes to electric vehicles but CarBuzz uncovered one of the Japanese company's US patent applications that suggests they could have some genuinely groundbreaking electric vehicle technology in the works. I'm about to tell you what it is. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please give us thumbs up and like this video and subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news. So CarBuzz reports that Toyota may have pioneered the Prius years ago but when you think of a hybrid nowadays it's not necessarily the Japanese eco warrior that instantly springs to mind anymore hydrogen is where Toyota's priorities lie these days but however it is produced electric vehicles are certain to become a core part of the automakers future earlier this year we learned that the Japanese giant Toyota was working on an electric truck but that's not very special these days anymore what is special is the innovation that CarBuzz has just discovered. According to patent documents, Toyota is working on a way to wirelessly recharge electric vehicles. And here is the kicker. The invention aims to do this while the cars are still moving. Amazing, isn't it? The patent documents reveal various methods of doing this. In the first one car, let's call it an electric Toyota Tundra from the future, could be driving along the highway. The driver realizes that the truck is almost out of, uh, out of electricity, so he or she places an energy transfer request over a wireless connection to a second vehicle, say a Toyota Mirai or the production version of the Lexus LFZ concept. Once the request is accepted, a second wireless connection from an energy interface on the second vehicle to an energy interface on the first vehicle can be established. The requested amount of energy can then be transferred wirelessly. In other scenarios, the vehicles automatically place requests for energy transfers with each other, potentially through the use of a non-transitory computer reader medium. Cool, isn't it? The patent documents reveal that the systems would read traffic flow and determine the amount of time it would take for the energy transfer to be completed before making a connection, thus preventing early disconnections. They also suggest that these vehicles would be able to match speed with each other automatically and would be able to find a route that would provide a maximum efficiency of the transfer of the amount of energy. Do you know what comes to mind, friends? Good Samaritan. You're driving on the road. All of a sudden, you realize that a car on the same highway next to you needs energy and is requesting energy transfer, and you decide to be a Good Samaritan and help. Although you may be paid for this, there may be some fees involved in this, but, you know, why not help a neighbor? Essentially, these vehicles would be able to communicate with each other to make fast charging on the go as quick and effortless as possible but as for how the wireless connection could actually transfer energy we can only assume that Toyota envisions a more powerful version of today's wireless vehicle chargers what impact these would have on range and efficiency is yet to be determined but if anyone can figure this idea out and see it through Toyota surely can well friends let me know your thoughts what do you think I think this is a great idea it's good that Toyota will come up with electric vehicles you know we're not surprised to hear that but to have something like future Toyotas um, being able to wirelessly recharge each other on the move and this could cure those range anxiety 
warriors and take the electric car ownership to a new totally new level well let me know if you're surprised on toyota i am um, but i'm not because also toyota is known to have lots of good patents and i'm looking forward for this technology to really come to fruition this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news coverage and give us thumbs up please share in social media if you found this report helpful i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you everyone and let's move on to the next ev story Toyota executive said not everyone should drive a battery electric vehicle. What do you think, friends? Do you agree with this? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Toyota President Akio Toyoda and other officials have said that electric vehicles will play a greater role in reducing emissions, but other solutions should be used. Toyota's gasoline electric hybrid models or hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric vehicles in, in them. Toyota Chief Executive Scientist Jill Pratt says not everyone should drive a battery electric vehicle to combat climate change it is what he means many people are passionate about climate change but not everybody should drive a battery electric vehicle as a means to combat climate change toyota motor corporation chief scientist jill pratt said last thursday at the reuters events automotive summit Pratt's comments during a discussion on electric vehicles appear to amplify remarks made over the past year by Toyota President Akio Toyoda. Toyota and other company officials have said that electric vehicles will play a greater role in reducing emissions, but other solutions should be used. Toyota's gasoline electric hybrid models or hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric vehicles. At last Thursday conference, Pratt said Toyota believes in diversity of drivetrains to give customers different tools to reduce CO2 emissions. It's not for us to predict which solution is the best or say only this will work, he said. Toyota says other solutions should be used like gasoline electric hybrid models or hydrogen powered fuel cell electric vehicles. Government in incentives should be aimed at reducing carbon emissions, not picking which car technology is the best way to achieve those goals, Pratt added in a reference to proposed bans on internal combustion engine vehicles, including hybrids, as a means of achieving carbon neutrality. Toyota was among major automakers that supported the Trump administration in its attempt to bar California from setting its own zero emission requirements, but the company dropped that support earlier this year. Toyota has said it plans to invest $13.5 billion through 2030 on electric vehicle batteries, but so far its plans to roll out new battery electric vehicles seem relatively modest compared with those of U.S. automakers General Motors and Ford Motors and of, of course Tesla which are spending uh, around 30 billion dollars each uh, through 2025 I mean General Motors and Ford spending 2000 uh, spending 30 mil 30 billion dollars each through 2025 to electrify more of their vehicle lines Toyota executives continue to toot the merits of the company's hybrid vehicles, uh, which have been on the market for more than 20 years. Friends, Toyota's hybrid vehicles have done well in the past 20 years, but do you think the hybrid vehicles are the future or electric only? Or do you think fuel cell uh, vehicles are the future? Do you agree with Toyota's um, uh, chief executive, Jill Pratt? Um, regardless, please give us thumbs up for this video uh, for if the information was interesting and useful. And look forward for my other coverage. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. That's Company, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and like this video if you found the information interesting uh, and look forward for my next report.